Yo, hey, what's up guys, it's Gizzle here, and in this video we're gonna be talking about two different topics. First of all, we got a brand new easter egg for DLC 1 that just got sold, and second of all, we know a little bit too much about Double Pack-a-Punch. That's exactly what we're gonna be talking about, but before we get right into it, I quickly wanna share this meme with you guys. Now, my intentions are basically that I just don't want anyone to be left behind. I, I like sharing memes, and when a meme is this spicy, I just don't wanna let it go but you gotta look at this meme and know this the next call of duty game is trek <laughs> let, let that sink in but ladies and gentlemen <laughs> we're, we're gonna quickly just cover dlc1 so dlc1 i actually made a video a couple of days ago it was an in-depth video where i covered everything but that was kind of like a speculation video but today glitching queen hit us hard with a banger and i'm not sure if she was the founder or not but she actually brought this to my attention and basically to everyone's attention that there was an easter egg or rat, just a little mini easter egg it wasn't something that you have to do a step for in order to complete it it was just like an easter egg that was inside the game that a lot of people just ran past by right so that easter egg was inside of morgue at this area right here I will have a gameplay playing in the background maybe I'll pause it maybe I'll slow it down you know what I'm saying right but that's exactly where you will see a couple of pictures and those pictures are totally different like they show some some areas that we have not seen in the final Reich or in Groston House and they look bright as F and it just tells you that this is not from this map. Now check this out. If you actually watch the trailer that Call of Duty put out like two days before launch right in that uh, towards the end of course we have seen that uh, they were announcing DLC1 and of course they showed us like DLC1 zombies map location along with other multiplayer locations and in that you can see it was above Germany. So if you put one and one together, I made a video and a lot of people made a video like my boy gaming revolution and everyone like that But of course we were all speculating because of that I mean it was a right speculation because this is confirmed and this came true So if you go over on Google and you Google that shit, you will come across Halley Golan That's exactly where DLC 1 is going to be And if you take a look at these pictures that we got inside the final right And if you compare these pictures with the one that that you would find on Google, they are pretty similar. I will put a couple of pictures on the screen. Some of them are gonna be from Google, others are gonna be from Google as well, and some of them are gonna be from the game. I'm just gonna have a side-by-side -side comparison, just picture on top of picture, just so you get an idea. But I will link Glitching Queen video in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. But hey, DLC1 location is pretty much confirmed. It's gonna be at Heligoland, and I am pumped. But really quickly, let's actually just transition over to the second topic that is gonna be about pack a punch now a couple of days ago i made a video about double pack punch as well and we were kind of like speculating is there going to be double pack punch or not and is there going to be a pack punch machine inside groston house well in groston house we just found that there is pack punch i made a tutorial on that that should be on the channel but hey a couple of days ago when i made that video i was talking about the fact that there won't be double pack punch although i was thinking like there would be but the the reason why I said in that video that there wouldn't be a pack punch machine or double pack punch rather is because one of my homeboy dragged the J. If you're listening, shout out to you, but he has a buddy that actually data mines and his his buddy was like, yo, there's no double pack punch inside the game. And I was like, nah, fam, we're gonna get DLC one because hey, Bob was screaming dank meme, dank meme, and I uh, you you know how that goes, right? But um, <laughs> uh, basically the the data miner said that there wouldn't be double pack punch inside the final Reich. So that made me actually think, I was like, maybe we're gonna get it in the future, maybe they will patch it in, because hey, this is exactly what we saw, because this piece of information right here actually sparked the idea that we will see double pack punch inside World War II zombies and the final Reich, because in the description, just gonna go through quickly for the peoples that don't know about it, and if you know about it, hey, just bear with me, it's gonna be pretty quick, you know how that goes, but ladies and gentlemen, the new section for Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies actually said this. It goes something like this. Upgrading your weapons is essential for survival. Find the pack punch machine to increase the power of your weapons in exchange for some jewels or some of the jewels rather you've earned destroying the undead. Most weapons can be upgraded multiple times and can even gain new abilities. Be on the lookout for the pack punch machine and give your weapons utility in needed boost. Now that's exactly what sparked the idea that we're gonna have double 
pack punch but check this out a couple of minutes ago this started surfacing over on the twitters on the youtubes i feel like dalek jd actually made a video about this as well and this is an updated post and it says upgrading your weapons is essential for survival find the uber sprengen uh, machine basically the pack punch machine to increase the power of your weapons in exchange for some of the jewels you've earned destroying the undead now here's the funny part it says most weapons can be upgraded now if you look the older one i will have it i will have both on the screen uh, at the same time right now but uh in the old post it says most weapons can be upgraded multiple times but in the new one it says most weapons can be upgraded and even gain new abilities be on the lookout for the uber spinger machine and give your weapons utility a needed boost so it completely just removes that word and it's huge i mean that just confirms that there wouldn't be double pack punch i mean it can very well happen that with dlc one or with upcoming patches or upcoming dlcs maybe it's gonna be something that we will see with dlc one maybe it's gonna be a little bit after maybe hey they want to do something like where we get dlc4 and they're like hey dlc4 that's the ending so you may get double pack punch in the game because it's the end and we like to reward you i'm, I'm actually speculating here but at the same time it could very well be the case where they were like huh we don't want to have the pack punch in the game because we want to make this game real we want to make this game a little bit hard right so i mean all of those speculation theories are leading to the point that yes uh, that could be the case but of course no one knows the answer other than sledgehammer games so let me know what you guys think in the comments are you happy about this or are you sad about this let me know in the comments how are you feeling and check out some other videos on the screen subscribe if you're new leave a like and i'll see you very freaking soon.